So, today we need to talk about writing a paragraph. And I'm guessing this is something you've probably heard in your classrooms. But I would like to show you how I go about writing a paragraph. Because like you, I'm a writer too. And I have to use some strategies to help myself be the best writer that I can be. A paragraph. A paragraph is a distinct section or piece of writing, usually dealing with a single theme or um, a, an idea. And it's indicated by a new line, indentation, and numbering. Let me show you what I mean. I have one of my favorite books, Frendel, here. And I'd like to show you just a page out of Frendel. On this page, you can see some very distinct paragraphs. They're indicated by the indents to show you where one paragraph starts and where it ends and where the new one starts. Writers organize their thinking into paragraphs. Learning to write just one really good paragraph is going to be our goal today. Parts of a well-developed paragraph. A really good paragraph has three parts. It has a main idea or that topic sentence. That's telling the reader, hey, this is what I'm writing about. It has at least three supporting details. And it has a really good wrap-up sentence. Now, a wrap-up sentence is, is often nothing new, really. It's usually just um, either going back to the main idea again and kind of restating it or telling it in a different way, or it's something that will leave the reader maybe with a feeling. It signals to the reader, guess what? I've wrapped up this idea and I'm ready to move on. And I'm going to show you my example. See how I have a bird, a cage, a perch, a seed, and a heart? Okay, well, I was thinking about writing about how I wish I could have a bird. So, how I wish I could have a bird. Hmm. That's what this paragraph's going to be about. I wish I could have a bird. Are you ready to, for me to um, give you my ideas? Yeah. Okay, so my main idea is going to be about wishing for a bird. These are my notes. I'm planning out my idea. Okay? Wishing for a bird. That circle tells you this is what my paragraph's mostly going to be about, my main idea. Now, I've already thought about three details. The first detail is I need a cage. The bird would probably want a perch. Get seeds for food. Seeds for food. Now, my wrap up. How am I going to wrap this all up? I need a feeling here. Do you have an idea, Alex? I would really love a bird. Like, um, you could say, I would really, really like, like a bird and I would be happy to have one. Okay. Love. Or it would make me happy to have a bird. Okay. So, I have a main idea. done with like five spaces um, if you're typing space bar five times gives you a nice indent okay so here's my main idea I 
have a bird for a pet. Did I give you a main idea? All right, check. If I got a cage, then I would have a place to keep my bird. very first sentence? Yeah. You don't end in every time. Okay? Because my sentences are aligned with the edge here, I've signaled to you as my reader, this is my new paragraph. Okay, so, did I give it a second detail? Yes. Yeah. Yes. First detail. Oops, I'm sorry. Thank you, Alex. First detail. Now my brain's thinking ahead, though, because what do I need to do next? Second detail. Second my second detail. detail. Glad you caught me on that. Okay. A perch in my cage would give my bird a place to sit. And you know what I want my bird to do? You know, that's a good question. What would my bird's name be? Is that a, again, is that a detail I can add? Okay, that's a detail I can certainly add. Place for my bird to sit and sing. Check, second detail. Now I need to move on to the third detail. Of course, my bird needs to eat. So, I will have to get bird seeds. Bird seeds. You talk faster than you write. I do talk faster than you write. Or than I write. <laughs> yeah, I talk faster than you write, too. <laughs> you know what? I'm using this marker just so you can see easier. My E is a little... Um, not clear. Don't I'm doing this just for clarity for your vision and even though it didn't turn out easy. It is a yes. You have to wrap it up. Yes. Yes. You are right. No, that's right. Sentence. So, check off that I did another detail and now I've got to move on to my wrap-up. Again, I'm not writing anything new. I can go back here. I really wish I could have a bird for a pet. So, I'm going to wrap it up. Thing. I would just love to have a bird. Yeah, the concluding sentence kind of has to be a little bit like the It does. It sure does. In fact, I'm using some of the same words, but I'm writing them in maybe a different way. A bird for a pet would, it would be awesome. I'm going to go back to, um, this blank screen. The happy would make, would make this gal one happy. And I'm going to emphasize happy by repeating it. Happy. Happy. Why do you think I wrote this in capitals? Because you're really happy. Yeah. <laughs> because you're really I'm really excited. So I put a little voice into it. Okay, did I do a wrap-up? Yes. Okay, do you see how I checked my plan? Check, yeah. check, check. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now. Uncheck, uncheck, uncheck. Um, um, why would I uncheck, Alex? <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. You write Let's say I gave you something I wanted you to write about. I gave you a prompt, hmm, like maybe I'm going to do. Oh, I look no. like this. You find a jar. What special treasure do you put inside? Well, before you start writing this box at the bottom, I don't trust you can have a new plan. What's that? 
My main idea. You're talking <coughs> sentence. And I need at least three details. I'm trying. And a concluding sentence. Closing sentence. Closing sentence. Closing sentence for a really good wrap up. Now, I'm thinking of a jar. What would I put in a special jar? I well, I don't know about my you. Cheese. Jelly. I had a jar. I like to collect things, and I love things yeah. that are colorful. Uh, I love colorful wait, things. Yes, colorful. I could get a pot of gold and another rainbow if you can. Catch a okay. rainbow. Pen. Pen. Pens. Pens. Now, what is the colorful thing I was thinking? I would about? want rainbow colors for my pens. Big jar. I would love thin tipped pens. And any other kind really of pens, Big pen. Okay. Fat pen. Um, what Noah said. Yeah. I have a favorite kind of pen that I like to use. What do you think? A pen bigger than your face. A green, a green pen. Um, a yeah, I would definitely like lots school. of green pens. And even more than that, sharp. Oh, yeah. Sharpie pens. My sister loves Sharpies. Sharpie pens. She has every color. I love Sharpies. I'm going to wrap it up. And Sophia knows how I feel about green. So I can probably wrap it up. Green Sharpie. Green Sharpie. Green Sharpie. Alex, I could probably wrap it up. By saying that I want to have a rainbow sharpie. Green sharpie. Green sharpie head. Great. Lots of green. Yes. Now, can I use all of these things to write paragraphs? Yeah. And as I write, what am I going to do to my plan? Check it off. Check, 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 All right, writers, you will need a clipboard. And a pencil, you are going to write and for me a paragraph about something you would put in a jar. <laughs>